Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I'm going to give you three tips today dealing with chats in Microsoft Teams, how to turn down the noise. And by noise, if you ever notice when you get a chat, you may be getting a notification on your desktop computer. Uh, also, if you're really busy and I don't need to chat with someone, we've had an ongoing chat going on, but I need to work on something for a customer, I'm going to show you how to turn that off. And one more feature. So let's go ahead and get started with the easy one. So this is a little unorthodox. Over on the left-hand screen is me. There is my profile picture right there. Over on the right-hand screen, I know it's got my initials. Sorry about that, but this is Carol Martin. So I'm chatting with Carol Martin. So Carol comes over here and says, hello. And obviously, I get it immediately. There it is. I can go to chats. There's hello. But I want to point out, there it is in the bottom right corner. Microsoft Teams calls that a banner. So here we go again. Another one. I'm just going to type in something and press enter just to get this done. There it is again. So I'm calling that noise. In other words, I'm already in Teams. I have it running. I don't need to see this desktop notification also known as a banner so here i go step one this is first one go here to your profile picture come down to settings and click notifications under messages chat messages banner and email i'm not covering email today i'll tell you all about how to stop emails or only get emails once a day for teams but the key here I don't need banner and email. I don't even need banner. How about just off? So there I go. So here's the test now. I should not get that notification when Carol sends me chat messages. And I'm not, even if I'm not on chats, I went to Teams. I'm in general. Here we go again. There you go. By the way, here's a quick tip. If you notice, Carol keeps sending me chat messages. But over on my screen, the word chat's got the number one byte because it's only Carol that keeps sending me the chat messages. So it doesn't matter how many Carol sends me, it's still going to say one. Now, if Christian sent me a chat message too, it would go to the number two. So next one I have is if you do, let's say even if you do like the banner, so I'm going to just go and turn them on again just to show you this. Because in case you say, yeah, I do want banners, or here's the default, banner and email, I don't care. Little note, there is no save here. You change it, you close it. Let's just make sure it's working. There you go. Okay. So, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to work. Everything's fine. Carol and I are chatting, but I've got to work on something for a customer. So, this is actually a really cool trick. I'm going to come over here to Carol. And I'm going to mute Carol. If you notice, Carol's icon went to mute. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to jump to Teams again. Carol keeps chatting with me. I hope you notice that chat is not even showing me the number one, which it did before, because Carol's muted. I'm still getting the chats, and when I go back to chat, I'll know that Carol sent me chats because her name will be in bold. But watch this. So I just did a mute when I go back to chat. There's Carol muted. I clicked on her name. It was bold. Let me do that one more time to show you that it was bold. There we go. Watch this. It turned off. There you go. So I can come in here and unmute Carol. So we've turned off the banners. I turned it back on. That's okay. I showed you how to mute a single person. Well, this time, again, I'm working on something for one of my customers. I just don't need to be disturbed. So this is another cool feature. I'm going to go to Teams again just to show you this. This is when I want to go from available to do not disturb. Now, it doesn't matter if it's Carol or anyone else. The chat is still going up. There's the number one. Carol's still chatting with me. 
someone else chatted, it would go to the number two. But I'm not getting the banner notifications because I do actually have them turned on right now. And, um, and I've done this for everyone, not just Carol. So here we go again, back to Teams. Carol's name should be obviously in bold. And there it goes. So that is turning on do not disturb when you don't want to be interrupted or get any of these notifications. Those are my three quick tips for chats. I've got one more bonus tip. On my Android phone, in Teams, I hopefully it wasn't picking up, but it kept dinging every time there is a notification setting and I've got two options. The default notification is receive notifications and the check mark is always even if active on desktop. Well, my phone keeps doing that notification ding. Well, I don't need that. So there's an option that says only when inactive on desktop. So that's what I'm gonna pick. So now it'll only give me that ding noise um, when I'm not on my desktop. Anyway, thank you for your time. In case you're wondering, I am going to cover under these notification settings where I'm headed. I'm going to cover how I would tweak every one of these notification settings. So I only dealt with chat today. And I'm going to discuss when you get emails in Microsoft Teams because sometimes I'm getting an email in Teams when I'm already in I'm getting an email on Outlook when I'm already in Teams. I'm going to show you how to tweak this. So I've been playing with this today. I'll discuss all these options on this screen right here. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day.